Hey, what's going on guys? So I've had uh, a couple people ask me about how you connect the Ape Racing Flex Bars uh, with handguards. So essentially what you need is, uh, there's two brands that I know of that make a set that um, actually go to the Triple Tree clamp. And so it, re it replaces your top bar mount um, that way it frees up space on your bars and it's a much better rigid system. Uh, you want to have some flex because obviously the bars move um, and even with this type of setup, you still get some flex with the bars uh, because uh, the front of the hand guard mounts to right here and then this goes to the top triple tree uh, bar mount and so that's going to be um, essentially your left side and that's going to be your your right side bar mount and then uh, these are your actual hand guards and this goes to the end of the grip so I use the ODI lock-on grips that are real easy to just punch out the rear or the end cap and then just uh, feed it through here I also with the ape racing flex bars, I thread the end of the bar uh, with a threaded um, hand guard um, adapter. So you can find those just on Amazon or, or Rocky Mountain. They're usually about 20 to $30. It comes with the tap, the really large tap. Uh, the really large tap that goes into the end of the bar and then you're able to uh, screw a bolt into the end of your bar instead of that cheesy uh, other setup where um, you screw the bolt in and then it spreads up open and it grips the inside of the bar um, I, those always come out those always come loose no matter what so anyway circa cycra makes this it is considered the hcm that's how you know you're getting the top uh bar mount adapter for the full wrap hand guards so these are the pro bend i have these on multiple bikes uh, i like this setup a lot but i also have found that the zeta hand guards also come with a very similar setup. And again, this is the Ape Racing Flex Bar. I've tapped this. And then they have the top mount adapter. You can see this is the Zeta Bar. And it goes here and it mounts right here with this bolt. And then it comes over and it attaches to the the ape racing bars come with a oversized one and an eighth, or you can get it, I think, as the seven eighths as well. Um, I might be wrong about that, but also the Voyager Pro mount mounts perfect to this top bar, even though it's squared with um, a little adapter that you can find online. I have had these screws come back out and when I've had that happen, replace it with a better screw. Uh, I can get more torque on it, and then I red Loctite it. There is some kind of Loctite on these, like some kind of white Loctite. Um, but I've found some of these just will back out. These ones were in here pretty solid, so I didn't mess with them. So, yeah, just the other thing is check this, this um, initially because it needs to be tightened down a little bit. You can replace these polymers with uh, different uh, hardness. I believe these are the medium. So there is a lot of, there's good flex. Um, I complained before about not having a bushing up here, but I'll tell you what, I even had uh, some other guys give me their opinion on them. And with an up hit, there's no bottoming out. There's no, there's no uh, resistance, like a hard metal knock or anything like that. So these are, again, the Zeta handguards. These ones do have the integrated, you can see it, integrated turn signal 
that you can put in these. So these are cool. That's why I got those Zeta. Uh, but this, the Sycra work really well. And I always really like the Pro Bend handguards. They're really high quality. So hopefully that answered some questions. Take care.